I'm waiting for the bus right now, but I'm just gonna take this moment to reintroduce this video because when I just started, it was like randomly unbearably like awkward. Basically, hi, my name is Sunny. Welcome to my channel. I'm waiting for the bus right now to go to campus and go to a library because I'm trying to romanticize my studies. <laughs> there's a lot of things I need to get done, and I just know that there's no way that I'll be able to motivate myself, get ready, and go out and actually be productive because I'm most productive when I can go out. Oh my gosh, that's my bus. Um, so yeah, come with me as I romanticize my life, being a mysterious girl at the library. Yeah, okay, I need to catch the bus now. Bye. One second. I have something very exciting to show you all. I want to thank Merit for partnering with me. We're going to do a little get ready with me action. You probably noticed right away on my channel that I'm not a huge makeup person at all. But I feel like I really want to at least start have some essentials. That is where Merit fits in perfectly. I'm into very like clean, minimalistic type of aesthetic. That is literally their entire concept. If you love like that clean girl aesthetic. I was scared that I would be overwhelmed. But, but they just have like one of like everything. It's so minimal. That's why I loved it so much. All their products are super clean and also super safe for the environment. Everything is paraben free, sulfate free, no artificial fragrances, cruelty free, vegan, all their packaging is also recycled. Everything comes in this cute little reusable little makeup bag. Oh my gosh, it's like brown and corduroy. I don't know, I thought that was so cute. Okay, so we're gonna do a little get ready with me moment. Like I said, I'm not a big makeup person. First, I'm gonna put on sunscreen. Sunscreen. Please give me some grace. The first thing I'm gonna do is put on lip balm because my lips are really dry right now. This is just, just the lip balm that I have. It's just the EOS. I'm gonna use you guys as my mirror because I don't have a mirror. The first thing that I'm going to use, the Minimalist. This is in the shade Suede. It's a concealer and foundation stick all wrapped up into one. So this is what I mean when I say that. It's like very, very just the essentials, clean girl vibe. I hate the feeling of having a lot of things on my face. I like having this just so that I can like spot conceal. This thing hasn't bothering me forever. So I'm gonna just put that on there and just hide it. Ta-da! I also low-key think that I got one shade too light, especially because it's the summertime and I'm more tan during the summer, but it's all good. So if there's any other things, then I'm just gonna spot conceal that. I love it. Okay, next. This might be one of my favorite things. This is Day Glow and it's like a highlighter stick and this is in- I got it in the shade Kava. It looks like this. It's like a highlighter stick and it's so pretty and that is kind of what it looks like on the skin. And I think that I have large biggest cheekbones I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I have really, really large cheekbones. So I put highlighter. I'm also going to highlight the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, my chin, and then my cupid's bow. And then I just call it a day. You can barely tell that it's there, which is the entire point. It has like just a dewy finish, which I think is so pretty. The next thing here is the flush balm, and I got this in the shade terracotta. And this is what that color looks like. And it's this shade right here. I'm quite tanned, and so even if I blush, it doesn't really show that much. I think it looks so cute when people have like blush across their face, like when they're flush and stuff, and you can see like red. I think it looks so cute, and I'm like so sad that like it doesn't really show that much on me which is why i love this so much i just think he looks so cute and i want to look like that so badly i'm gonna put that on i'm so jealous of my sister and also some of my other asian friends who have freckles because you're such a rare breed and i think freckles look so cute okay so that's all the blush that i'm gonna do a lip is like the only thing that i really put on every day if i'm going out because i look like a zombie without it i have like no color on my lip this is just a random one that i have from sephora i do the classic gradient I use my finger, just spread it out so that it looks natural. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm going to do is curl my eyelashes. All of, like the American ones that doesn't work. If you have Asian eyes like me, you have to get an Asian one. It's the only one that'll work. Um, I'm also too scared to do this in my camera, so I'm gonna turn this off and then I'll not be back. Okay, I'm back now after having done that. I'm also gonna do my hair. Hey, welcome to my bathroom. I use this Revlon straightener. I also don't do a lot. I'm very bare minimum, if you can't tell. I also just showered. The only thing that I will do is style my curtain bangs because they like bend weirdly at the front. I'm gonna use heat protectant. This is Tresemme. The only the parts that I'm gonna actually curl. I don't want my hair to look too styled, so I'm literally just gonna do the bang. I basically just take my bang from both sides, I straighten at the bottom, and then I go back, and then I curl the top. And now it doesn't like curl inward, it curls like outward. And then I take a smaller section of just the front, and then I curl that separately, add even more volume to my front here. And that's all I do for my bangs, but I think that I also might blow out some of just like the top layer so that it looks like my hair has more volume. Straighten from the bottom. And then I curl on the way up, if that makes sense. It adds like a subtle curl like that. And then I just do that all over my head. 
So that is literally it. Ta -da. That is literally all that I do to get ready. And this is me being like pretty done up in my opinion because I normally don't do like anything pretty much. But yeah, if you're interested in trying out any of Merit Beauty's products, you can use my link. It is in the description to check it out. Okay, so that's that. Now they're ready. Let's go romanticize school together. This is my favorite flannel that I always wear. And then I'm wearing this white athletic workout top. I don't know. It's like the viral one from on Amazon that's like a dupe for something from Lululemon. And then I'm just wearing these tan oh, sweatshorts. And then of course, you can't forget a tote bag. I upgraded. I have a new one in my collection. So I always use the same one every single time that my sister <laughs> gave this one to me for my birthday. There's a quote from Margaret Atwood, in the end we all become stories. Tell me that's like not the most. It's just so me. I just love it so much. There we go. Oh, let me put my closet door. Okay, so do I look like a mysterious girl in a library? Anyway, I'm gonna pack my laptop. Can you tell that I like neutral? Charger, obviously, yes, I have the old Mac. And then I'm gonna pack my iPad, water bottle, obviously my book. This is what I'm reading right now if anyone's interested. It's the second book in the Seven Realms series after the Demon King. Oh my gosh, it's already heavy because my laptop is like the old one. Oh my gosh, where's my phone? Okay, I'm also gonna bring this, which is where I'm gonna put you, my camera. And it also has my adapter and has all my extra batteries, so AirPods. Where's my charger? Oh my gosh, I found it. And obviously my phone. Okay, so I think that that's all that I need. I'm excited. I feel like I better get some stuff done today. Oh my gosh! <gasps> you didn't see that. This is my first time bringing you in the open on the outside. I'm so self-conscious. Okay, maybe this will be good for me. Oh my gosh, no guys, I'm so scared. This is literally the biggest learning curve of my entire life. Okay, bye. Okay, so I made it to the bus stop. Came in there, it was just like this group of like gym bros who were like loitering here and talking. They all turned around and looked at me when I came. I hate when that happens. Anyway, I'm waiting for the bus. Welcome to my campus. So I don't think that I've actually really shown you guys my university. People ask where I go all the time. I go to McMaster. Maybe one day I'll give you guys like the full show you guys my campus. Well, I haven't been here in a really long time. This is our museum of art that I've never been to. Thankfully, there's not a lot of people here, but I think there's like campus tours and like summer camps running. Look at those wolf statues. That's us. This is my program. Our mascot is the wolf. Anyway, I'm going to a place called Mills Library, which is right next to the student center. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's campus tours happening. I'm intimidated. This is our student center. We're gonna go to the second floor. articles and the library's clothing. I think they just saw my bus. There's an exit back here. This is the back side of campus. <gasps> my battery's gonna die. Please help. Ah, I just got home. Sorry, I needed <laughs> I just got back to like end the video, but like, oh my gosh, when I was walking down the street to get to my house, the street that I'm on, it's like this random small street, like not really close to like a main street or anything like that. And it's mostly like family houses. There's not a lot of students here. And all the students that are around here, I feel like I have seen them around, like everyone on my street. I saw the cutest, I saw 
the cutest guy. Oh my gosh, I literally saw him from a distance. I started panicking because I'm so shy. Where I was like coming down my street, my house was like on the end. And I saw this guy on my side of the road. You already know. I'm like, dang it, we're gonna have to pass each other. It's so awkward. I hate doing that. I hate when that happens because I get so awkward. I feel like, like I don't know where to look. Like, do I just keep looking? Like, is it rude to like not even like look at your face? If I had a my way, I would literally just be like this because I'm so shy. He looked like a student. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm like, do you live around here? Like, I have never seen you before, and there's not a lot of students here. He looked so much like this one guy. <laughs> I have such a crush on this one actor. There's this movie that I watch every single fall time. It has Olivia Holt in it. It's like the best cheesy. I love this movie so much. It's called Turkey Drop. I have the biggest, fattest crush on like the main guy actor. This guy, this guy. Oh my gosh, I swear to God that he looked like that guy. And I was like, <laughs> I started panicking so much. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. He was so cute. Anyway, um, that's the last story, of course. Can't go out in public without like, noticing a cute guy. But yeah, that's gonna be up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Follow me on my socials. They're all linked in the description. Yeah, subscribe to continue following me on my journey of overcoming my anxiety about vlogging in public. We made money moves today, folks. Anyway, bye. Bone apple tea to me. Bye. Oh my gosh, like I was so cute. <laughs>